So the fuzz pedal is the earliest form of distortion pedal. These started to emerge in the 1960s, really, with the maestro fuzz tone being one of the earliest examples. From the earliest days of the electric guitar, players were achieving distortion with their amplifiers, although not necessarily intentionally, and not necessarily in the most desirable way. Guitar players were simply trying to be heard above the band. The problem was that the music of the day, like the big band jazz, didn't really call for a distorted type of guitar sound. But gradually, as rock and roll started to emerge in the 1950s, along with some accidental run-ins with damaged amplifiers and slashed speakers, the distorted guitar started to become a sound unto itself, and a really important component of that music. The design of fuzz pedals, and then later distortions and overdrives, really became an art form. Now, although fuzz is a type of distortion pedal, as we'll see in a minute, overdrive, distortion, and fuzz all fall under the general category of gain-based effects. As we discussed previously, these effects increase the amplitude of the waveform to the point of clipping or distortion. Personally, fuzz pedals are my favorite type of distortion pedal because they can give so much personality to the guitar sound. In the larger distortion category, the fuzz pedal is the one that can alter the sound in the most extreme way due to the hard clipping that it produces. Unlike the soft clipping of the overdrive, hard clipping comes on suddenly as the signal hits its limit and the signal peaks get chopped flat. Probably the best way to describe the sound of fuzz pedals, actually, is to use the word fuzzy. They sound fuzzy. Even so, they're all somewhat different in character. Some other descriptive words that come to mind are woolly and snarly, spitty, aggressive, rich, and raspy. When pushed to extremes, the fuzz can really leave the original sound of the guitar behind and transform it into something wholly different. To achieve its distortion, the fuzz pedal employs transistors. The transistor is an electronic component that was developed to replace the vacuum tube, and as such, it's used in the pedal to increase gain. Transistors and fuzz pedals are generally broken down into two different categories. You have the germanium transistors and the silicon transistors. The very first fuzz pedals employed germanium transistors, and these transistors are often revered by guitarists for their smoother, warmer, and rounder sound. The problem, though, with these is that they were often unreliable and really fluctuated due to external factors such as weather and temperature. They're also noisier. The more reliable silicon transistors are said to be harder and crisper sounding. However, both germanium and silicon are used widely in pedals and they really just offer different flavors. Probably the player most associated with the fuzz pedal would be Jimi Hendrix, who famously used the Dallas Arbiter fuzz face. And in fact, this pedal is very much associated with classic rock and psychedelic rock in general. Despite this, fuzz pedals are very much used by modern players as well, looking to achieve cool, unique indie tones. 